Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady Channel. XRP is forming a cup and handle pattern. Some reasonable upward momentum is poised to occur, in my opinion. As I mentioned before, I have high hopes for December and believe it will be a fantastic month for XRP holders. This digital transition will be discussed in your grandchildren's history books while the world is asleep. Not to mention that most people are clueless about the state of our economy. The digital age has already begun, you know. Everything is moving online these days, from banking to digital wallets, payments to trade. However, those who aren't involved in the cryptocurrency industry are completely unaware that this is happening. Even the wealthy inside the current financial system are smitten with the US dollar, as I've long said. Their money would be better off stashed beneath the mattress until the shift to digital currency begins, until then, they would take it out of the bank. The US currency will eventually demonetize and a digital dollar will emerge, as a result, many people will become impoverished. As part of its regular operations, Ripple has released 1 billion XRP tokens from escrow accounts, reducing its escrow amount to less than 40 billion XRP. However, I believe it will likely be another three to five years before that occurs. This occurs on a monthly basis. Every time Ripple releases 1 billion XRP, there is a ton of excitement, and it will happen again next month. Everyone is pointing out that Ripple is dumping on regular investors, but that's just the beginning. Within the next two days, we'll see Ripple lock up 800 million XRP again. Pegasaltani has some solid evidence against SWIFT, and it's shocking. Just like I mentioned in yesterday's video, SWIFT is not anything that worries me at all. In my opinion, Ripple still offers the greatest solution available. Countries are increasingly opting to rely on a secondary domestic rail or construct their own, despite the fact that trillions of dollars are debited and credited cross-border by a rapid messaging network every year. SWIFT cannot be improved upon due to its poor efficiency. Domestic advances in countries like Brazil or India in the past few years have significantly outpaced SWIFT's capabilities. Since SWIFT has been in charge for so long, they have grown accustomed to making all the decisions, but now they are beginning to see that power erode. In the next five years, Quick will, as I mentioned before, become increasingly irrelevant. The network beta testing for Aspects starts with XRP, the power of on-demand liquidity, and the fact that you can't upgrade it. XRP also has smart contracts, which make it impossible to compete with RippleNet. The revolutionary technology is smart contracts. This is what I've been hoping for since last year, and it's the fundamental reason why Ethereum has attracted so many projects, despite its hefty gas expenses. Private beta testing for the Facets project has started on that Flare network. In an effort to facilitate the usage of XRP, Bitcoin, and Doge by market players in conjunction with smart contracts. This is as astounding as it gets. In this very moment, this is the appearance it takes on. Through the process of repairing tokens that do not have smart contracts into aspects. In decentralized applications, they can be utilized. There are a lot of moving parts when it comes to Flare, including payments, various aspects, lending, bridging the metaverse, leverage trading, and store value payments. Also, it's been a while since I uploaded a Flare video. For some reason, whenever I upload a video, people always claim that it's a dead coin. There will be no future for Flutter. Over there, nothing is occurring. That was a little sluggish, but at last it arrived, the moment I'd been anticipating. It seems like a fresh flare is on the horizon over the coming days. The root network will soon have a new XRP utility that supports staking XRP on just one side. In light of the MOAI Finance team's debut on the Root Network, they have extended an invitation to XRP holders to join them on a journey into the future. Staking XRP during the expedition is a great way for XRP holders to help the Root Network with liquidity early on. In exchange, they will be granted special access to MOAI, pre-mined tokens, and, as outlined in the MOAI financing roadmap, will be rewarded with Root tokens. In the new year, the MOAI token will make its debut, I'm uncertain regarding it. Seeking a staking opportunity where XRP can be earned. 
I am patiently awaiting that. It must be secure, too. I prefer to ease into staking gradually. In my opinion, the best course of action is to wait and see what happens. The stake gauge bar and Casper are still active for the time being, though. According to Bear, CBDC risk is too complex for central banks to manage. Here we can observe where they mention disturbances, which is something I'd want to bring to your attention. Thus, countries that have adopted CBDCs are not seeing widespread use, despite efforts to promote their use. A surge in Bitcoin acceptance might be a result of the absence of agreement on CBDCs, according to the International Monetary Fund. Crypto is supposedly making individuals not want to use CBDCs, which is causing a stir in the market. I mentioned that there will be plenty of incentives for consumers to switch from cash to a CBDC for of this very reason. Institutional acceptance of crypto will bring about market maturity, but I believe that many people will initially resort to crypto because they will find more value in it. Higher liquidity in cryptocurrency markets, which allows for easier execution of large trades without drastically affecting prices, is often associated with institutional adoption, which is generally considered as an indication of market maturity. This, in turn, may reduce volatility and boost credibility for the crypto space. Next, solutions for the custodial setting. In my opinion, this is the main factor that will drive up the price of XRP. Looking ahead, institutions must prioritize the secure storage of digital assets, and they are being helped by the emergence of custodial solutions that are specifically designed for this purpose. There will be a dramatic shift in the market for cryptocurrency as soon as large banks begin to hold it in custody. Because of that, the XRP price has the potential to skyrocket in the long run. Crypto will soon be widely used in Switzerland. Cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Ripple are now available for investment at a Swiss retail bank. Innovation is booming, and everything is moving forward at a rapid pace. Furthermore, there is where these nations' water supplies will ultimately originate. They're destined to either become the next Silicon Valley or a major center for cryptocurrency. Something similar is occurring in Dubai, and it will happen elsewhere as well, because these places are quite welcoming to cryptocurrency, while the United States is really opposed to it. The United States really needs to sort itself out. Nonetheless, I anticipate that the United States of America and the European Union will implement crypto rules in 2024. In my opinion, they will expedite it. From January 5th to the 10th, there will be a breaking spot Bitcoin ETF window. When the SEC releases its proposed rule amendments, experts weigh in. Neither January 5th nor the 10th, in my opinion, will witness the launch of a Bitcoin ETF. They'll never tell you when it's going to happen, which is similar to what I tell you about XRP. It will occur when individuals are least prepared. And I believe that Gary will keep that going for as long as he can, following the lead of the legislators. Additionally, Elizabeth Warren despises cryptocurrency. She's hoping that you, us, CBDC, will she truly desires that. It should be noted that she has also been bribed by major banks. Despite the addition of BlackRock, it's not important. Gary will comply with their orders without question. On the other hand, I think they will eventually fail to support an ETF. Cryptocurrency holders have a bright future ahead of them, as an XRP ETF and Bitcoin ETF are sure to follow. Regardless, innovation will continue, mass acceptance will occur, institutions are beginning to invest in crypto, and huge shifts will occur during 2024. However, I still believe we will break $1 before the year comes to a close. So, until everything falls into place, have an optimistic outlook, and let's amass wealth together. Alright, I'm going to end this video now. To everyone who is tuned in, I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you later, bye.